I'm going to ask Jack to do a bit of hunting now. Jack! Typically here in the west of Ireland, we're hunting these thick overgrown dikes. Now obviously it's only October, but in the winter time this is where the woodcocks sit tight and then come out into the fields on a night to feed on the worms. See with Jack. Get in. And just ask him to go in, you can hear him plashing about in the water at the bottom. He works the dikes up and down. And he works so far and then comes back out again. Get on. So he's an absolute dream to shoot over. See the wood pigeons? Feeding on the acorns. So all the time we can ask Jack to work the dikes 15, 20 yards in front of us. And this is this kind of exciting shooting that you would get when you woodcock shoot in here. These really thick, you can see the tops of the bushes moving where he's going through the blackthorn and the briars you can hear him crashing about in the bottoms working up and down the dikes you see him coming out now through the holly get in and we'll just gently ask him to go in You can see just how thick and overgrown these particular ditch bottoms are. It's not like England where they're cut back every year. These are just a mass of thorns, briars. And you can see just how obedient it is. We've just put him to stop. See, it's so marvellous to be able to shoot over a dog like Jack that's so under control all the time he just works for you all day long and you can just ask him again to go on work the, the thick cover always in gunshot anywhere from 0 to 15 yards and for a woodcock, you see him coming there, coming out of that thick cover. If a woodcock was to come out of there, we're in a perfect place to shoot. Again, we can put him down to stop until we get over to him. We'll get ourselves into position. Jack, you know, and away he goes again. Get in there, get in there. See him going right down into the bottom of the dike. Those are the sort of places that he hunts up and down. That's what makes these dogs so tough and great to shoot over. A lot of other dogs wouldn't hunt these type of places. So that's Jack hunting.